Hi, I am Harish Gurdjieff and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about um, another important uh, topic which is AWS competencies. Um, so every partner um, wants to achieve these competencies. Yes, it is not easy but you know there are so many like I think there are 16 or 15 of them on you know different competencies and in today's video what I want to share is the top three competencies that AWS partners must focus on or you know should focus on to 10x the partner revenue so the most you know the you know the the, the competencies that have the most uh, potential to increase your revenue is what I'm going to share today so let's dive in so let's understand what is a competency right so competencies and service delivery designations are part of the AWS specialization programs right so the goal of the specialization program is to recognize AWS partners who demonstrate and maintain technical proficiency and, and proven customer success in specialized AWS partner solution area so that's basically it so basically you have to showcase that you know you have to demonstrate that you have the technical proficiency and and customer success in a specialized area and you have to maintain it it's not like you have you have done it once and and you know you're done right so you have to maintain that cons you know uh, you know the, the, the customer uh, and success and technical proficiency so that's what the competency is and there are so many competencies like you know they're starting with you know data and analytics storage you know cloud operations devops uh, you know uh, then you have the uh, migration gen ai so there's so many competencies to what i'm going to share today is the top three what i believe will help uh, you know the partners significantly to increase their revenue and I'll explain why so let's dive in the first one obviously is a no-brainer it's the migration competency so one of the difficult one to achieve definitely but extremely profitable uh, for partners as it offers multiple benefits like POC funding map funding um, you know you can offer map funding for partner cash and you'll have a ton of future opportunities like managed services you can create customized trainings you can do well architected reviews and all the action items that come out of the well architected review so that you know and then once you are live on the customer is in production you can actually turn the customer into a managed services customer for a retainer right so with the retainer so huge opportunity that's the reason everyone wants to get a migration competency it's going to take a while uh, to get to that stage but it is the most uh, you know and and it, it makes perfect sense right so if you are bringing in a customer from somewhere either an on-prem on-prem location or colo uh, or, or, or another cloud to aws aws will try to give you the mac you know reward you with the most possible uh, you know options that they can give right so that's that's what this is about so migration competency is really um, is 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 has been will be and i think will be forever <coughs> the top competency that partners uh, should strive to get right so and in order to be able to <coughs> i'm not sharing the entire criteria but to be able to go ahead and get to that point uh, the partner tier status should be advanced or premier tier so that's competency number one which is migration competency now let's look at the second one which is devops competency which i feel between you know which i feel is another most uh, you know sort of specialization because every business with has which has an in-house engineering team ultimately will follow you know a devops model and get if there's if those you know companies are moving to aws then there is then the whole you know opportunity opens up for implementing devops on aws right so that is another competency that is like that will that's gonna stay i mean that all the competencies are gonna stay that what i mean is that's the co competency that's gonna uh, help partners for a very long time to increase their you know profits increase the revenue so you know DevOps competency is the next big thing which I feel uh, every partner should do because any any company you take any project you take DevOps is is a must so huge potential in terms of um, what do you call the uh, opportunity to generate revenue right so again all the other fundings and everything apply even for devops like if they are moving from let's say gitlab to aws 
code commit or something still the, it's a migration you know it comes under the migration so so definitely so devops competencies and the next big thing is what i feel so you know and and, and strongly believe that you should and partner should focus on getting devops competency uh, finally the competency number three is Gen AI, generative AI competencies. This is one of the latest competencies AWS has, you know, launched for partners. And looking at the trend, partners who get this competency will have an early mover advantage. Huge, uh, you know, market for generative AI, right? So I, I attended a, a, an AWS summit like last week at in Bengaluru. Focus was completely on Gen, Gen AI. A lot of workshop, a lot of focus AWS focus on generative AI and uh, right now if you see there are only 54 Gen AI partners uh, and, and most of them are pretty big like Deloitte, HCL, you know those partners SMBs can't afford those partners to provide them solutions right those are all like enterprise level partners so the SMB market is is wide open for generative AI partners and if you are a generative AI competent and you get competency and you offer solutions to SMB space I think you know as a partner you will have an early mover advantage and, and significantly transform your AWS partner business right so there are only 54 imagine this over 110,000 partners worldwide and only 54 Gen AI partners at this point in time huge opportunity huge opportunity for partners who wants to focus on or building the build the skill set and develop the gen ai competency within the partner business so those are the three competencies that you know if uh, you know if i recommend any partner to move go forward or work towards these are the three that you know that i would strongly recommend yes there is there are other easy ones like the storage competency cloud operations competency yes those are those you know those are no brainers like you you have to do like in order to get migration competency you still you know if you do a storage migration it's still a migration right so you know, those are those fall under the subset of these competencies right so that's what i that's the reason i did not share them for example storage migration if you did you know store migration to s3 uh, as part of the migration if you do those things or implement solutions with disaster recovery and things like that you qualify for storage competency which will be also be a subset of if you focus on these big mi migration competency and these things you will automatically cover those cloud operations like uh, and cloud operations management competency is really about uh, making sure the governance and compliance is enabled right so yeah if you focus on the bigger ones or the the small ones will automatically fit into the larger one right it's not easy i don't say it's, it, it's not easy but um you know but this is something you have to work towards as you are building your partner business so i hope you this video is useful uh, thanks for watching do subscribe to this channel because now i'm going to start sharing uh, a technical content on specific uh, services service offerings as well um so that uh, you know you know the potential uh, aws users and uh, customers can actually benefit from it um right uh, so yeah keep watching and thanks for uh, you know subscribing to this channel mm -hmm.